Anna Polina Mariana Koza fled Science City, resolute to shield her offspring from Professor Olov's grasp. The troops pursued her and were commanded to apprehend her, whether living or deceased. She was unwavering and ready to eliminate anyone obstructing her path, for a mother's intuition is capricious. As they were closing in on her, Anna Polina evaded the hail of bullets. The relentless military was determined to eliminate her. Unfazed, she displayed her extraordinary prowess, sending them crashing to their demise in an icy trench. Despite their ubiquitous presence, Anna Polina sidestepped their shots and plunged into the nearby sea. Aware of Anna Polina's escape strategy, the military deployed helicopters to pursue her into the river. They launched missiles in her direction, and some of their men bravely followed her into the sea. Despite their concerted efforts, when they scoured the waters, Anna Polina Mariana Cosa had vanished without a trace. It's like she vanished into thin air. Tom, Hawk's long-lost twin, shared that their mother, Anna, possessed strength and agility akin to their abilities. Additionally, she had psychic powers, known explicitly as empathic, in which she could understand and share another person's feelings, and also sense the emotions of others by touching them. Professor Olov, a brilliant scientist, and his team discovered Anna Polina in a remote village. They had heard rumors about her extraordinary abilities and were astonished to find them accurate. Although she possessed superhuman powers, the origins of her abilities remained shrouded in mystery. Professor Olof and his team brought Anna Polina Mariana Koza to a secret military base, hoping to replicate her extraordinary abilities, which resulted in them experimenting on her. They eventually acknowledged their failure despite trying to clone her for over a year. As a new approach, Professor Olof impregnated Anna to create a biological copy of her. Anna, naturally compliant, acquiesced to his demands without resistance. However, when she felt her child stir in her womb, she made a firm decision that her child would not be born in captivity. Using her powers, Anna compelled Professor Olov to open the exits. She swiftly incapacitated the guards, successfully escaped the facility, and eliminated anyone obstructing her. Later, Anna made her way to the United States of America. When her time came, she gave birth to twin boys. Fearing Professor Olov's pursuit, she decided to protect her children by leaving them at an orphanage. She left Tom in North Carolina and Hawk in Maine. Hawk felt emotional, contemplating their mother's fear during those moments. Tom encouraged Hawk to use his ability to locate their mother, but Hawk clarified that his power didn't work that way. He needed something specific to focus on. So, Tom provided their mother's name, which proved enough for Hawk to find her. Hawk's gas station bus provided him with a caravan to locate his mother. He advised Hawk not to draw attention by using his abilities to leap over vehicles and trains which might endanger his mother's safety. Hawk reassured his foster mother, Mrs. Taylor, that finding his bad mother wouldn't alter their bond. Mrs. Taylor had been there for him since he was an infant and he cherished her deeply. Hawk's neighbor, Zoe, who had feelings for him, volunteered to care for his dog, Buster while he was away. On their journey, Tom asked Hawk why he had never noticed Zoe's feelings for him. Hawk replied that he had never considered Zoe in that manner before, but if she did have a crush on him, it would mean something as he had a crush on her too. Suddenly, two fire engines rushed past them, and in his good nature, Hawk asked Tom to chase after them to assist the victims of a burning building. Later on their journey, they halted to aid some circus workers involved in an accident as their truck had overturned into a ditch. In a 
addition, Hawk also assisted a duck and its chicks in crossing the road. Tom, though a bit impatient, understood that Hawk's empathy was an inherent part of his personality. Hawk's compassionate nature always drove him to help others. It was just who he was. For years, Mrs. Johnson wrestled with whether she should gather the courage to reveal herself to her son, Hawk. However, doing so would undoubtedly endanger both of them as Professor Olof and his military battalion posed a significant threat. As they continued their journey, Hawk felt anxious about meeting their mother. He considered himself an ordinary gas pump attendant and worried his occupation might not leave a good impression. But Tom reassured him, urging Hawk not to be too hard on himself as he was confident their mother would love him unconditionally, no matter what. Hawk felt a sense of gratitude towards Diane, despite others blaming her for her actions led him to discover his long lost brother and ultimately setting him on the path to meet their mother. In her house, sitting with Hawk at and lost in memories, Mrs. Jones heard a knock on the door. As she opened it, an excited hawk stood there informing her that her boys were here to meet her. However, to Hawk's surprise, his mother appeared frightened and unwelcoming. When he questioned her, Mrs. Jones disclosed that she only had one son. Before Hawk could process the situation, Tom attacked him from behind with a powerful blast and hit Mrs. Jones, causing her to fall to the floor. Before Mrs. Jones could know what was happening, Tom summoned Professor Olof and his military battalion and they apprehended Mrs. Jones as Hawk lay down unconsciously.